tonight, the next chapter in the McDonald's All-American Game, the 47th annual boys game. 24 of the top players in by his future college teammate, Dylan Harper, the Jersey native. And the Sun absolutely love that. Two going to North Carolina, two going to Duke. But Ian Jackson was the 06. DJ Wagner and Isaiah Collier were co-MVPs. And we should have another ultra-competitive game here tonight. We yeah, let me tell you, it's the second most competitive game, 1991. Okay. No point game. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's one. As Derek Queen gets to go. Ian Jackson has been a standout all week. Good finish there. Queen with the puck back. He's in much better shape. Motor is up, weight is down. That's a great combination for Derek Queen himself. Oh, he has that ability. He can do that. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. <laughs> Maybe in this game, but not in Maryland. Trey Johnson, maybe the best pair scorer is headed to Texas. Now Bailey, number two player in the class, knocks it. Footwork, the elevation, the length and the size to make jump shots. Johnson, the kick up to Dylan Harper for the triple. Great job with him on the defensive end and as a playmaker. Here comes Harper on the break for the West. Feeding B. Durga for the throwdown. On the jumper right there, showing off his ability. He wasn't happy about the fact that Trey Johnson locked him up on a previous possession. Uh-oh. Oh, Dylan Harper can fly. Here's Bailey against Flag. And a nice feed by Bailey and Baduga with another. This career in this building also, whose soccer created some great footwork by the name of a king to dream, Olajuwon. Absolutely. As Bryson. Here comes Darion Reed. The Augusta, Georgia native, eighth ranked player in the class going to Bama. And Reed does it himself in a class. John Well, Boogie Fland. That's good. From the standpoint of being able to get the job done on the block. Quaynes just took it away from him. Feeds his future college teammate, Boogie Fland, for the deuce. Hey, uh, look at Boogie. And Fland could hit the three. McNeely, the offensive rebound. The top of his ability to put it on the deck, his toughness, and his strength and size at 6'7. Uh, can't wait for Friday night. NC State, South Carolina, 7 Eastern, UConn, and Iowa. H. Beckers and UConn, that is the elite must see TV. And of course, the most dominant team in the country, South Carolina, will be in the night game. Carter under that. Remains committed to Washington at the moment, despite the coaching change. And now, Carter Knox with the triple. Their, their children also, she coached Cooper with Maine United. And of course, we know Maria Harper coaches Dylan at Domination 3000. And when you see 32 in the blue, you're looking at maybe the number one pick in the 2025 NBA draft. 25. Uh oh. Oh, Ian Jackson got blocked by the rim. Four on one for the West. Oh, and DJ Edge coming ahead to Isaiah Evans, future rival. Got his shot blocked. And Harper is there at the other end, rising up. Big improvement in his game, DJ Edge given the ability to be a playmaker. Cooper Flag drills the triple. And for all those who are jumping his ability from the outside in the last 12 months alone. Ian Jackson, electric. Um, we're the Ohio Flyer was getting the job done. I was in the area. <laughs> I can tell you right now, spent some time with Ron around Dylan at the Nike Cat Hour. What he does defensively, the dime right there, turning defense into. Harper over Bethia. Yes, and the foul. Maria played at UNO, the University of New Orleans. John Paul headed to Ole Miss. <laughs> Johnson the lob and Edge come the finish. Love the oh, ball couldn't handle the pass from Bethia. Johnson pull up three, give it to him. He had the faster guards in the country. Steve Pipel told me now he could be a switch defender big time. Watch out. Dylan Harper dropping the end. That puts you in such a predicament when you're playing against Montverde. Do you double team him and leave guys like Liam McNeely over for opportunity? Flynn got a second crack. Got a name like Boogie and you're from the Bronx. You got to be the Boogie down Bronx. You got to love the Yankees. And Flynn's got another three. But he's loving the three. Flynn trying to get downhill. Nice pass to Derek Queen. Could not finish. He could finish it. Maryland's second highest ranked tenth you know, in this class. He's got strong hands to rebound the ball, but he's got a softer size. Is amazing. Look at that. Another pick. 
Boy, he's had a couple of those ahead to Boogie. Who can Boogie to the rim? Charge zero in the red. Decommitted from USC today following Andy Enfield's move to SMU. Carter Knox flips it in. Seven seconds for Fland. Got Carter Bryant off his feet and Queen puts it home. Let's see if he can get going in the second half. Flag the turnaround, no. Offensive board by Queen, and there is Ian Jackson, curling at home. 10 his entire career, and he's finishing right now in that top 10. That speaks volumes to his work ethic. Now the lob, and it wins. Three here, Jackson for the tie. Jaden Quaintance, 16 years old, headed to Kentucky, puts it back in. Well, look at the regain the lead. We always had the feeling this would be competitive, and the East coming out in this second half, making it very competitive. Trey Johnson Trey with us. Got our guy over to our left, who truly started the whole one and done process at Kentucky. You see that point guard setup right there? See, that's why you should let me catch the basketball, Ted, so <laughs> so I could get it to you. You're the lead guard, like Dickie <laughs> B called you. Yeah, you can take over, who put in a lot of work with Donnie Freeman over the summer. Those guys producing Donnie Freeman, one of the best seniors. Producing points, producing rebounds. This week at Chipotle Nationals as we crown a high school basketball national champ. Dylan Harper's feeling it. Oh, Megan, thank you. I'm loving the shirt, too, for Ramika. That was made pretty quickly as Derek Quinn scores again inside. That and H said, we got a t-shirt of you <laughs> grabbing the ball right now. <laughs> no one wants that. Your wife does. <laughs> Carter Bryant hits the, I believe, the only Brother-sister combination to ever play the, well being McDonald's All-American. Sharif Cooper in oh, back the kick. Jackson trying to shake Trent Perry. And Bryant might have affected the shot. Derek much better shape at Montbert. He wasn't doing that before he made the trip. Look out, clear the runway for Captain Jack, Ian Jackson. Upon his speed, his ability to attack the basket, going alongside, of course, costing Elliott Cadeau. Uh-oh. Now it's Cooper Flag's turn. This is well. With an 8-0 run, the East has the lead, down by as many as 18 in the first half. Knox with the finger. John Bowl is. Here's Flag for three. Bullseye. Whether it was off the bounce or off the catch. Like to see the East get Liam McNeely a couple of shots. The best shooter in the gym. How about Trent Perry? Perry. Reed for the tip in. I'll tell you what's better. Yeah, I can't remember a bad shot in this game thus far. I think God's doing a great job of taking care of their opportunities. Oh, John Bull! Oh. Fell to the floor. Plan around oh, oh. Sherelle. Foul. But the group has a high basketball IQ. They make great decisions. They look for one another. So Robert Wright the third is the point guard for Montverde Academy. They are third. he has been the most important player for Kevin Boyle this year. Yeah, shout out to my young fellow Jason. Along with Tom Kinoko as we see Trip Perry. Thank you. It's really high with this group. The talent, the IQ, and athleticism. Donnie Freeman splash at the now in transition. We are trotting back on defense. We need to be the aggressors. We need to be the ones getting out and getting transition buckets. Well, instead, it's a specific ahead to Bailey, second ranked player in the class. Extra feed to Dylan Harper, and the foul is called. B, but I can tell you right now, those two guys are neck and neck. BJ Edgecombe couldn't finish. And back to acquaintance for the jam. My point that the teams have gotten back on defense in this game. You don't see that a lot in all-star games. No. It speaks to their competitive nature. Trey. <laughs> the class for Texas coming in next year by Rodney Terry. It's a top 10 class. It's got Cam Scott, Nick Cody as well. And Flag rips it down for the East, the number one player in the nation. Ahead to his high school teammate, Queen. Two more for Derek Qu Baylor. To Johnson. Edgecombe the offensive board. Oh, Trey Johnson! Rise above everybody. Powell the steal. Smart play by Drake Powell right there. And Jackson banks it home. Queen the line. Ian Jackson with the flood. Look at the block. Flag. Blocked by Harper. Jackson for the lead. Yes. Say about trying to see if they could produce what we saw last season. Oh, 
Harper thought about the lob instead. Line. The teams are going to have to decide how they're going to play Derek Queen in college because he's going to demand a double. Act too many defensive miscues. Also, stop celebrating with each other after the dunks. Get back and play. W hoops as Harper misses the three. Flag. Another hit ahead. This time to Ian Jackson. No, but a foul. Yes. On Saturday, his favorite player to, to watch growing up of Larry Bird versus Magic Johnson on in the vehicles while they're driving around the AU. Oh, that just melts your heart as a Boston guy. What else would you watch in New England? Oh, Edgecum goes he reverse side. There are at least three on the West right now. Great pass to B. Dunga, oh, and he smashes the rim. So his parents wouldn't have to pay for college. He met Anthony Ricks from Southeast Basketball Elite. Ended up with Lou Hart with Jay David. It's coming. Look at, look at the way they're running their actions. The ball's moving side to side. Players are moving. And, and finish. Jackson puts it in. Kitch type center for Maryland. There it is. And Queen with the quick hands again. And Derek Queen finish. East up three, nearing the final minute. Johnson for the tie. He hits the bullseye again. These guys highly ranked and needing attention, but how well they played and shared the basketball. Queen, no, Fland, yes. Try to go in the act of shooting. More foul to give for the East here. Johnson for the win. Off target. And the Gray Johnson. But Cooper flag in the East are victorious in the 47th annual. In this game, unable to get one to go to win it. Flag and the rest of the class of 2024 shining bright tonight for Corey Alexander.